The parents of a 12-year-old girl with terminal cancer are begging the government to allow her to receive an experimental treatment in New Zealand. Mila Davis is too unwell to travel to Australia where she could access a trial of the drug that might prolong her life. Alexa Cook reports. Once a normal, happy, healthy kid, 12-year-old Mila Davis is now fighting for her life in hospital. Just outside, her mum is fighting to get her a new immunotherapy treatment that's undergoing clinical trials. Everything was an experiment at one point. And this is her only opportunity to survive. Mila was diagnosed with the bone cancer osteosarcoma in June last year. It was cut out of her leg, but had already spread to her lungs. Seven different chemotherapy treatments failed, and she's just undergone emergency surgery to drain a collapsed lung. She is so brave and strong, and you would never know that she's in pain. An Australian oncologist has recommended the new immunotherapy drug created by Ingenic, which she could access under compassionate grounds in Australia. However, because it's in the early stages of clinical trials, it hasn't been approved as a medicine and isn't available in New Zealand. If we don't do that, we don't have anything else. If it works, then we have our daughter. Medsafe says the drug company hasn't shown interest in running trials here, but it's open to hearing from them. Meanwhile, Sydney Children's Hospital is considering treating Mila with Ingenic, but she's now too sick to travel. So Kristen is pleading with New Zealand's health authorities to find a solution so her daughter can be treated here as she's now at death's door. Just lift the red tape. You're killing these kids and they're not having a chance. The Health Minister Shane Letty told News Hub that he's working hard to improve access to all medicines, including cancer drugs, and that he's taking advice on what's needed in the cancer diagnosis and treatment space. However, the Cancer Society believes New Zealand does have the capability to trial new drugs, but there's a lack of government support. They're totally doable. All you have to have is the, ultimately the political willpower to invest in that area. So kids like Mila can have a chance. Alexa Cook, News Hub.